I'm here with RSU women's golf head coach Whitney Hocutt and senior Mariel Dial. Mm -hmm. Coach, talk about what this big event is coming up on May 6th through the 8th. Yeah, so May 6th through the 8th, we are going and competing in the NCAA Division II Women's Golf Central Regional. It will be hosted up at Bartlesville, Oklahoma at Hillcrest Country Club. Not only are we going up there as a team to go and compete this next week, we are also hosting the event. So myself, as well as our entire athletic staff um, here at Rogers State, we have been working very hard on this event. It's kind of a bid process that we, that we have to go through and kind of a big undertaking in order to get to host this kind of tournament. And we're just super excited to get to host the tournament for not only our student athletes, but for the other eight teams and other six individuals that are coming in to compete in Bartlesville next week. So we're super excited. Merelda, this is your, you know, your senior year. You've been able to qualify for this tournament as a team four straight years in a row. Talk about what it means for you to, as a senior to qualify not only as an individual, but with your team again. It for sure has been very, very special to me, especially knowing since the first time I came here as a freshman, um, it was the first time in the school program that we ever made it as a team to the regional. And then to have been able to make it ever since, and so right now I'm in my senior year, has been very, very special for me for sure. And it is um, definitely a memory that I will never forget. Um, and I'm very, very excited to finish my last year making it to the regionals again together with uh, my team and let's see what it will be <laughs> we, we talk about qualifying um, yeah. coach talk about how what the process is to qualify for this tournament and talk about what comes after this tournament um, after the central regional yes so in order to qualify for the regional tournament there's only 48 teams that are still playing so there's four regions and we're again we're in the central region and so nine teams are coming and playing in this event next week. And it's it's kind of your body of work. So for the whole year, um, we, we go and we compete in 10 tournaments total. And it gets looked at by a committee, you know, the Regional Advisory Committee, which is composed of administrators um, as well as other coaches and things like that. Then they decide based on your season of play and your body of work where you're ranked at amongst these other teams. So we came in, in in fourth place and, you know, we've been ranked anywhere from over the years, anywhere from first all the way down to fifth or sixth place. And so to be able to be not only selected, but to be kind of in that top part yeah. of, of our region, it's something we strive mm -hmm. strive for year in and year out. So mm -hmm. we are very fortunate and, and blessed and excited to not only go and compete, but be ranked um, extremely high in our region as well. Then... Um, from the tournament next week, it's in order to go on to, and make the national championship, which will be played in Garden, Florida. It's, it is a festival year for us, and it's super exciting to not only make the national championship, which, which we've gotten to do two of the last three years, and it's something that we are looking forward to getting back there at the end of May. And in order to do that next week, next Wednesday, which is the final day of our Central Regional, we have to be one of the top three teams that um, – will then go on and compete at the national championship in Florida. So that's kind of how it works. And we're really looking forward to not only having a chance to go and win this regional, but to also at least be a team that's going on and competing in Florida. Merelda, for your senior year, um, in your last conference tournament, you were able to be named to the all-tournament team um, for the conference championships. Talk about what that achievement means and being able to play so well um, in those rounds. Well, first of all, I'm very grateful that I um, was honored with that and uh, to be able to do that again and to finish my career like my last year that way has obviously will always be one of the greatest thing that has ever happened to my career and everything that has happened in my career in general is I'm very, very grateful for to play for the um, Hillcats and everything. So I'm very excited and I am very grateful. And it's it mean it means it means so much to me that I'm able to perform that way, and to finish my career that way. What are the details for May six? So the details for May six is eighteen holes starting on Monday, um, which is May six, and then on Tuesday we'll play another eighteen holes. Wednesday will be the final round, and it's eighteen holes as well. So it's a fifty-four hole event, and played over those three days. 
Teams will start traveling into Bartlesville starting on Saturday. Mm -hmm. They will have a practice round on Sunday starting at noon. It's a shotgun start. And, and people are more than welcome to even come out on Sunday. It makes it a little bit easier to come out after church or whatever the day might bring and come out and watch. And it'll be a great day. And then on Monday. Yeah, Monday will be the start of our first round. And tea time starts at 10, starting from hole 1 and 10. Hillcrest is such a great golf course. Me and my teammates are so excited to come out, come out and play. So we better see you guys be there and be square. <laughs>